goes up, ready, gates go back and they off in racing. Adia was just the meat in the sandwich over there. Lost about a length or two when the starter said go. First to go is move on over. Straight off to lead them with explicit content. Red sleeves and white cap behind that one two Beleza. Adia is just over racing but right there now only three lanes off. The leader Swift Wing is racing behind that one. And then comes Follow the Band and Stealing the Moon. They completely outpaced and 12 lanes off the leader. They whip into the turn and they greet the judge. It's move on over and Richard Faree that will guide them in with explicit content in second. Adia has been hooked to the outside. Still three lanes off them but move on over. Is still in front with Adia to the outside. Explicit content is running a cracker. In front explicit content comes at move on over. Adia still three lanes off them but explicit content now got driven into the lead. Move on over's in second. Adia's behind that but it's explicit content up to the line. Going to win by two and a bit lengths, move on over in second. Then came Adia, who was balked and squeezed at the start, has run third, and further back was swift winged into fourth. And a great win today from the source explicit content. Based on today's performance, maybe just need some time, some strengthening up, and he'll go on and win his races. Don't you worry about that. And Louis got a strong book of rides today in Klebecha. He will draw first blood on the poly track surface. On that, we'll hand you back to the studio. While our day kicks off in the Eastern Cape, I've got to say a huge well done to the Johan Janssen van Vieren team as explicit content comes through to take the win and proves well on having gotten more acquainted with the poly last time out. I've got to say a huge well done to Freeman who joins me in Pickyak, going to be celebrating the World Sports betting check of 1,500 Rand for looking after the winner. And uh, Freeman, very, very well done. Thank you. Great win there. You can take that off the camera for me. Thank you very much. And with that, we're going to ask Louis to step in and have a chat about explicit content with me. Um, Louis didn't, uh, was not, you weren't acquainted with this horse prior. It's the first time you've thrown a leg over, but I'm sure you really got excited on the canter to post because if that felt as good as it looked, it would have been exciting. Yeah, no, sure, Nadine. Um, he went down very well. I mean, the was a little bit above, above himself. Mm -hmm. But as soon as I let him canter down, he used himself very well, very nicely. Um, just shows that you know, he's got more experience than most of the horses in the field. Yes. And um, in, in his form as well, I was, I was excited to ride him because he, he has decent form. Um, and uh, last time he just fell back, I thought you know, it was his first time here. Um, so yeah, today I was really excited. I was looking forward to riding him. And uh, Gavin gave me perfect instructions. He said, um, just commit to yeah. lead. Um, if, if anything goes faster, then let them go. But I don't put it in his mouth. And whenever, whenever you're ready, just let him go. And uh, the pace was honest, it was, it was very good, you know, he was traveling very well underneath me. I always felt that I, I got horse, and uh, when, uh, when he better stopped nicely, you know, he, he pulled away nicely from the field. So, um, I don't think he'll stop here. I think, uh, you know, he, he definitely will progress. He's a young horse, especially when he comes down, because, as I said, he was above, above himself. But, uh, yeah, it was a good win. Tell us a little bit about the poly track because we, we would have noticed that you were sitting second. The long time leader, Move On Over, was leading, ran second. So, are we to take it the poly's running nice and fast and horses up the pace can stay on? Yeah, sure. Um, the, the way it felt to the first race, definitely. But um, it's always different when you come yes. from behind. Um, but it is, it is it's, it's beautiful to them, I say. It's, it's very beautiful. Um, uh, it's, it's, it's firm, but not too firm. It's just nice and fluffy. Um, so, I think if you're up there, um, you've got a chance. You know, if, you're going, if you're up there and you're going in the right places, obviously. Um, um, you definitely have a chance, but um, I don't think it's going to be too difficult for horses also to make up ground, um, but I will see how we go through the day. And interesting to note that for the first race, everyone elected to tap to the outside. Yeah, sure, and it's always easier when you, you know, when you duck in, you turn to change your horse's legs, yes. then you lose a bit of momentum, so when you come out, you just keep, keep that same momentum and you just go forward, and then when you change legs, you already got that forward momentum, so yeah, it's always easier that way, yeah, that's how I've... That's just yeah. my opinion. No, that, um, it's great to hear yeah. the, the sense behind, the, or the reasoning behind the, 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 sele the, the choices. Talking about reasoning behind choices, of course, I'm not going to let you run away. You've got some nice rides coming up. I'm sure you're hoping for a decent day. Popping Crease looks to be in, in the right field. How do you feel about the cut back to 1900? Horse like Bush Tracker looking for the hat trick. Does the weight swing with Blonde Act concern you? Those two horses really stand out. Popping Crease, uh, it's a cut in distance, but... Um Looking at the, the strength of the field, 
I should get away with it today. Honestly, you should get away with it. Um, even though it's it's a it's a, it's a cut back in distance, but really you should you should win today. Honestly. Okay. And uh, um, Bush. Bush Tracker. I know he's carrying 61 today. There's a weight turn around, but the way he's the way he's, he's doing things lately, um, it's like he's, he's, he's sparked again. Nah, he's yeah. just just grown into racing. He's just loving racing at the moment. So, if he's feeling uh, the way he's feeling, you know, the way that his last two wins and also should be very hard to beat him. Um, he's taken on stronger, and I think today it's a he's a stronger horse. He's a big boy. He can take the six win enough. But hard to ask you about the feature races because you haven't ridden Golden Sickle before. Yeah. Um, but Machete Man, you did climb aboard once in Cape Town. Uh, obviously, the stable companion, probably the preferred runner. But it must be exciting to have a horse with natural pace being by act of war, giving the poly a go. Yeah, sure. When I rode him, I think, we had a bad, I, think I had a bit of a bad draw. So I bounced him to Comet because mm. obviously he's a front runner. And when I did that and he saw daylight and he just he over raced, that's why he ran so bad with me that day. He tried to stay on, but um, he, he just done yeah. the damage is already done at, at the back stretch. Um, so today, Obviously, I'm not going to change any, any tactics on him. He seems to love it to run, to run like that. Um, it's a 2 4, so I'll take my time to get to the front. If anything goes faster, then let it be. Um, still elect, yes, I know Grant is on it, but um, you never know what can happen in those races. Machete Man is a very strong front runner yeah. when, he, when he puts it in, he, he definitely puts it in. And uh, Golden Sickle, um, she, she's done nothing wrong. Um, yeah. She's uh, in a mission. But the weight, I think um, she, should, she should make her presence felt. Also got the pace to enjoy the yeah, poly. Sure. And then, of course, at the back, no time is taken. First run for the Cotson Yard. You rode her last time when she came down under Candace Dawson, and that was a very promising run. Yes, nice big filly. Nice big filly. I remember her. Um, the poly last time was a bit too quick for her, so I said, let's maybe take a, a distance further. Um, yeah. I would have liked a 14 or a mile for her, it, to be honest. I know she's been sprinting in 1200s in, on the previous form, but as we all know, the, the paces in PE are different. So I would have liked a, longer, a bit of a longer distance, but I think a 13 also, um, she can get it. Yeah. You know, she, she gave me a very nice feel. I, I told her when I got off, I said she won't take long to win. So yeah, yeah she, she, she won a big race. Louis, thank you so much for taking the time. Karen is standing by. If you could please just accept the check on behalf of um, the winners and of of um, the yard for the BSA, Bloodstock SA value added bonus, extra 100,000 Rand, a lot to smile about. And Louis, I'm going to let you run because, uh, yeah, you've got the next race to get down for. Thank you so much. Sure. Just uh, well done to, to, to the owners as well. Really appreciate it. And well done to Mr. Van Furen. And uh, thank you to my sponsor. Of course. Congratulations.